Hey everybody and welcome back to Mostly Walking. It's a Monday, 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 Labor Bedaver Day and that means one thing for you, Mostly Walking where we walk most of the time. Now I wanted to ask my esteemed guest here, I've got in the studio Sean's and Sean's and uh, of course my name's Lee Grainer and I wanted to say Sean's and Sean's, what brings you in on today? I know that you're specialists in weather and also the way that cars drive on the road. When you when when a car travels too fast, it creates a bit of a wave in the traffic and that can cause ripple effects. Now, what was your thought about that? I know that you uh, had an intense fight about that just a minute ago in the green room. Go ahead. I am still recovering from the intense anger I had at Sean Bo's misunderstanding of PDE's representation of the ripple effect of braking during a traffic jam. But I will let the record show that when someone breaks in traffic, the brake lights propagate backwards in traffic, even though everyone actually wants to go forwards. Yeah, that's... Yes. Um, I, I This is a really yep. good example of the kind of argument that you like to make, Sean, which sounds pretty, but means absolutely nothing. That's very accurate all, right now. That's very saying, accurate. That's actually, are we are we still doing the bit, or are you just speaking yeah. to me? Like, I can't tell. Jesus, or are you just reading, like, fucking, wow. Oh. Brutal. Oh. Oh, hey, uh -huh. everyone. Welcome to Mostly <laughs> Walking. This John's is the show. arrested for being too real. Sorry. Too real. Go ahead. No, Go ahead. Uh, a, a misdemeanor realness offense. Um, today, we actually invited Lee to do the intro. Uh, and Lee, wait, where are you? Oh, you're, you're over here. There you are. The camera angle is reversed from my standpoint. Lee, an amazing job at doing the intro. Uh, Sean, I invite you oh, to do the intro man. next week. We're going to be continuing to play Jesus. through uh, Colossal Cave, which is the modern recreation of the old 1970s text-based adventure games, considered by many to be the first adventure game. And uh, I have some very thrilling and exciting news. I have gotten access to their enhanced graphics beta, so we have mm. even more shimmer and sheen as we wander around <clears throat> throwing axes at dwarves. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. Uh, before we hop in, Lee, I, I, I was really curious, are you still interested in making a cave walking simulator kind of thing. Because remember last week, that's the one you were really hyped about. was like, dude, this is just such a cave. I just want to make a game where you just wander it's around okay. in spaces. I have no memory of that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. what, what I do want to make, look, what I've wanted to make forever is just, just, just my own take on a, on a Cosmic Osmo. I want to make a surreal walking around spaces thing. Um, so yeah, there could be a cave oh. in there. Sure, put a cave in it. If you made a surrealist walker, yeah, like I, we would play that. <gasps> that would be so good. You mean it? Uh, that you know, a hundred percent. Like so, I mean, I, actually... I want to make it a point and click. Here's my problem. Here's the problem. You know how? Okay, you know how every project you make doesn't get made because you come up with one problem that is solvable, but you never actually get around to solving it. So you just you just kick that creative project down the road for ten years. Because here's the problem. Yeah. I want to make it a point and click game, like a hypercard game. Yeah. But I don't know if I should try to rebuild hypercard in Unity or if I should do it in live code. It is not hard. I've rebuilt a hypercard in Unity at least twice. It's not <laughs> it's not hard to do. Okay. I've, so I've, I've like okay. I think you could I think you could tackle that. You because know. the problem is this. Oh, go ahead, Sean. Uh go ahead, Sean Sean. Oh Sean? my God! This is we we have we have an important moment occurring right now. We do. Uh, and first of all, Lee, yeah, I've, I've I've implemented HyperCard twice since we've been here, uh, so definitely two in <laughs> Unity. Um, but we have one of the original Williams, Ken Williams, in chat right now, saying, oh, "Hey, I just got here. Did they already talk about Colossal Cave? We didn't just already begin bringing it up. We have it on air right. Uh oh." No, there, oh, there no. it is. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're going to experience it. And we might actually get Roberta Williams in the chat. Oh, vibrating with anticipation. This is where. Oh, no, yeah. Very exciting. Yeah, this is where, you know, in case we throw an axe at a dwarf and miss, we will actually and, uh, uh, get to see the creator please? of the code, the experience, and everything. I know. It's <laughs> exciting. Please forgive our uh, irreverent <laughs> tone. That's just our shtick. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Oh, well, it's also just who we are. Anytime a developer joins, we're like, we're so grateful to have you. What a treat. Also, we're so sorry. We can't apologize yes, enough. Yeah, what a, no, what exactly. a treat. This is incredible. So, I want to just. What, ah! Oh, shit. What? What? Oh, God. It's a pirate. 
I'll Whoa, we really started off. And hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. What? I just reloaded. I I was not expecting this. Huh. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I was hold not on. ready for that. Great, Sorry, just gonna I'm reload. Just... It's just not what happened anymore. <laughs> Easiest wait, saves coming of my entire life. It... Okay, so wait, Sean, I don't understand what you. J I mean, we loaded. There's a pirate. Does this mean that you just unpirated us? I think yeah, I think I, we we've been depirated. Yeah, no, we, we are currently pirate free. I wanted to just briefly Wait, recap but, where we were in the game. Um, in the uh, wait, ho hold on though. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm gonna yeah. let you finish. But so so we just got the most amazing call to adventure, which is that we logged onto our save game, and then there was a pirate. Yeah, he was yeah. like, "You can find me. You can find me treasure," <clears throat> and you were like, "Nope." And you just reloaded, and then you just you you you, you hit remember, cancel on that. You just that, deleted that call to adventure. Do you adventure. not remember that, the, the the story circle, Lee? This is the refusal of the call. This is yeah, but this I've never seen a refusal. Of the call. Let's just reload. Like yeah, no. Let me, let me tell you, like that's that's like that's like if Luke Skywalker heard the news and went back to bed. Like that's effectively what we did. Um, <laughs> and you were so I, I don't understand how you were so confident that you you just knew that by reloading you would unpirate us like I, I don't how does that I, I don't understand it's so good it's so good it's so good <laughs> it's, so, it is good and I don't understand and let's continue yeah. so let's talk about where we were at so basically um, for any of you who have not played this type of old school game you're not actually interested in trying to like beat the game, do level one, two, three, four. You're trying to like understand how the entire game works and then go through it as a perfect run, maximizing points. And we oh. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. are absolutely just going to continue to play through. I'm sure we've hit failure yeah, states. I'm bad, sure we've done bad. all those kinds of things. Um, and we just entered into this giant's pantry from the two pit. Where oh, we I forgot it. about the giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we yeah, threw yeah, a yes. beanstalk and we got into here. Oh yeah. And now we, we are, um, we just opened this iron door with a key, and we okay. see there's this cavern, and there's something over here. But first, we need to give the warmest of welcomes in the chat to my camera freezing due to a tech issue, due huh. to the screen blacking Amazing. out. Everything's timing is absolutely perfect. Hold I, on. I promise we're very <laughs> professional on this yeah, show. Yeah, in case any of you thought that this was not the most professional broadcast ever, you're mistaken. This is it. And there it is. We got Roberta Williams in the chat. Welcome, Roberta Williams. Woo! That's awesome. Welcome. Oh, Heck my yeah. God. We're so glad to have you. We're so sorry. We can't apologize yeah. enough for misunderstanding every mechanic, making every possible player error in the universe. But welcome. We'll do it enthusiastically, though. Oh, yeah. We do everything we with enthusiasm. I mean, we made a silly show. We made a silly show, and it became a little too well known. That's the yeah, predicament we're in. And we just want to welcome you. Mistake. We want to welcome you into that that sort of energy. Oh yeah. Well, well. Love watching a couple weeks ago. Oh my god, that that is actually surreal oh. because because okay, this is where we share a little bit of history time. Okay, like so, uh, Sean Bouchard and I used to live together, and yes. one day. Um, well, honestly, when we lived together, most of the time we just were in our own rooms. And like, yeah. so so one day after living together for like a year and a half, we were like, hey, why don't we just like play through one of those old King's Quest games? And we played uh, King's Quest Seven all the way through with no help at all. Um, and that was so fun that that became the genesis of doing this show where we play old point and click adventure games. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now new slash old point and click adventure games. Yeah, but I'm, I'm actually. And then, and oh, then go Sean, ahead, go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Sean, you launched our um, careers as internet micro celebrities by saying, "Hey, you two are are good friends of mine. I think you might be funny if I put you in on camera." <laughs> so that's yeah, that's our pedigree. Yeah. <laughs> and Roberta says, "I'm honored." No, how dare you? We're honored. Like we will you, out. We're, we're extremely we're, honored. We will out. We're honored. You. Till the end of time. We will win this. We're the ones with the microphones. We will blare this till the ends of time. It is it's seriously such a treat. Are you enjoying this game of Colossal Cave? It is. Actually, yes. yes. Actually, yeah. yes. Because it is so not the way that modern games are. Where I would, like, hit F5 and an arrow would, like, 
fly out of my character's head being like, go here, and there's like a checkbox in a journal and all that good stuff. I have literally no idea what's going to happen next, and we're just continuing to wander. So let's get some let's get yeah. some prompts here. Let's get some This prompts. is a rushing stream. Be careful. The rocks may be slippery. Hmm. Now, do we actually have to be careful? Is there? Is it possible to be not careful? And oops, it is. <laughs> fell into you, the rushing. You die. It is. Are you? You die. You literally. Yeah. He said. You know. This don't. is a classic adventure game, Sean. Oh, what do you think? You seem to have been ousted from yeah, your. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There were some invisible walls in other sections. There were some kit. invisible walls in other sections. All right. I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> Continues to be the best cave, best game cave, uh, so far that yeah. I've experienced. Did you save your um, game? Uh, actually, everyone, uh, it's very important that we show Roberta Williams that we actually have a floppy disk save icon because, what are hmm? we, amateurs? Like, of course we have oh, you mean in the chat. You, you mean the emoji? Yeah, the day yeah. save yeah. emoji. See, everyone spam your, yeah. spam your save emojis. There is a threatening dwarf. Oh my god. Oh, a sharp a knife is thrown. All right, hold on. We're going to open the inventory. It missed. Dwarf's right. axe. You have vanquished I a little can... dwarf. I Easy. get stressed whenever they throw the knife, and I don't think that we've been hit by here. it yet. I don't but either. The fact that it is so rare that it hits us makes me think that if they do hit us, it's probably bad. It's right? going to be real bad. Yeah. Maybe. yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is that, like, given that there was that other section that you looked up, Sean, and it was like there's just a 10% chance to get out, it would yeah, not right. surprise yeah. me if the dwarfs were like, yeah, it's a 5% chance, you just, you just fucking lose the game. That's it. You just, you, you just get... <laughs> Just get out of here. You just get knifed by a dwarf. Yeah, like, <laughs> I I really feel like that's the one thing that the Dark Souls series is lacking. Like, if at some point you die, there's a 5% chance it uninstalls the game. Yeah. Oh, that, that was a go. thing, right? Wasn't that a, there was a game? That's a, like that's a lose-lose, right? Lose-lose did that. I don't know. Is that true? There was that Doom, that Doom mod that, um... All the enemies, all the monsters were the processes running on your computer. And when you killed them, it killed the process. So Roberta Williams says, what was here's that a called? clue. There's a total of six dwarves. What? And you really? keep track of them. Uh, you can vanquish them all, and then they won't bother you anymore. And I says, did not. Wow. I didn't know that. Says, I don't say kill anymore, only vanquish. What, what, about, yeah. what about KO? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like vanquishes. You really see a good. steep slope. It looks like you can slide down it. All right. You see a steep slope. It looks like you can slide All right. down it. Well, if we die this Probably time, not it's not our fault. Probably not back up. All right, we're going down. We, oh, that's yeah, actually a good slide. Told us we could slide. <laughs> that that looked fun, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I would stand in line for that. Okay, so how would you go about carrying kind of, like, those live. huge bones? Ridiculous. Can I just live? Can we live in there, under there? It's a good question. You yeah, know, in, in San is Francisco, that a, is that $3 rope, million. Though? Can we, like, can we unspool the rope somehow? Um, no, I mean, I want to just live under the bones. Type, like, I, I want to just, in, like... unspool rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why do I feel... Why what? do I, I feel so frustrated, like, you all aren't, like, like realizing how much I want to live under the bones? Can we just move... <laughs> can we just yes. move the ribs over, over the campfire so that we have, like, the coziest nook? I mean, I really feel like this is just an example of bad camp design. Like, you could have easily just put your bones right over here. Or, to, like, put the fire right over here, what? you know? It's already getting well ventilated. It's true. I get, I mean, you really want to sit under the bones? Like, what happens yeah. when that when that skeleton monster comes back? You're in a life? large, low you, room. You're already digested. Calls lead north, point. east, southeast, and southwest. That's, Sean, what? that is a wild statement for Jesus someone who Christ. lives in a country that buries their dead. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, all right. My cat's very angry with us. Come on, come here. By that thinking, our entire way of life is is built on hubris, Sean. Because <laughs> cause come, come that day, come that day, we'll be overwhelmed. So, I guess we just have to keep making sure that there's more people alive in a large, than have ever been dead, room. right? Cool. Okay. Hold on, I gotta, I'm gonna adjust this volume just a smidge, because it is... Yeah, crazy. I'm also... Uh... You're in a large, low room. There we go. Calls okay, so... lead north, east, southeast, and southwest. I have a question for our dear developers in chat. So, the original 
adventure. Like, I have not played. I played Zork, one, two, three, four, five. And in those games, it was just a text parser. So, you know, you type things like, you know, look at mailbox, shake mailbox, like any verb that you could come up with, you could just type. And often it would say, I don't know what you mean. Like, what do you want me to do with that? But also often it would be like, you shake the mailbox vigorously and nothing happens. So like mm -hmm. in, in like more modern games, you have an extremely limited set of mechanics, like look and, you know, use, or you can like grab, you know, inventory item. Did the original adventure have that sort of notion of like super narrow text parsing? Or was it, or excuse me, super open text parsing? Or was it like very specific? Like how did you translate those mechanics from there to here? All right. Time Ooh. to please wait. Yeah, I'm 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 also curious about that, but I will also point out that it's not radically different this from is the audience the room. transition Ancient from the first version of King's, of, version of King's Quest 1 to the second version because the original King's Quest 1 to the north, another passage the leads southeast yeah. and a hands and knees crawl leads west. The original Colossal Caves parser was limited, had to write extra narrations. Damn. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. You were saying, sure. uh, but the original King's Quest was also parser based. I mean, it was graphical parser based. Oh, that's right. But it wasn't until the remake that it was it sort of standardized on on the iconography. Oh, I remember that. Because let me tell you, when 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 I was like eight. And there's like something coming to kill you, and you just don't type very quickly. <laughs> That's true tension right there, man. There's a delicate amazing. precious Ming vase here. All right. There's a delicate. Oh, I don't. I actually... bet you can break it. Spelunker today. I don't. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna drop this. But wait, what if I hit? I'm rate? afraid the magazine is. Oh, it's written in dwarf. Spelunker. Drop. All right, let's. Let's get the loot. This is, uh, many of you may recognize this as the opening of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, that's right. This is, um, actually giving me, in the best way, like, House on the Rock oh, vibes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my wait, God. there's a pirate! Oh, it's the pirate right, again! Pirate. I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with me chest <laughs> deep in the maze. Wait, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna pull this on the screen. Uh, Did I'm he gonna... empty your inventory? Yeah, let's let's actually take a look at what was just typed. Uh, has the pirate stole any of your treasure yet? Like literally in oh, the no. midst of the steal. <laughs> Does Roberta have like a master server where she can just hit a button and it'll cause the pirate to appear in our game? Because I think that's what just happened. Is there a sort of pirate that... backdoor? Pirate backdoor, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. Mushroom, mm. mushroom. So many of these rooms I just want to hang out in. Wait. And so this is northwest, so if I go this way... This You're going to go back to where we just were, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. So now... Wait, so our inventory is empty now, yeah? Wait, what oh, is no, book? Just, just the good stuff. Some, Velvet some stuff. The, the oh, Ming vase and something else. So this this is what I think is... All right, now now I, 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 am, I am so pleased to be able to say, just so, Roberta Williams, you know, we like to be spoiler-free when we play. <laughs> we, Are you really going to do that, Sean? We, oh, I know, I know. Isn't this, is this crossing a line? We like suffering. We will say things like, how the hell do you do this? But like, frankly, the reason, I don't know about you two. Actually, I do. I'm going to speak on your behalf. Like, the fun of these games is just, I remember going to school and being like, I literally don't know how to get past that part. I literally don't know, I like don't know what to do. And I would just wonder all day and come up with an idea and go home and try it and it would be wrong. And I'd still be stuck. And that would happen for like a few days and then it would just like click. Oh, oh, I think this is what I'm supposed to do crave that man i'm chasing that high still but apparently velvet this, pillow. this velvet pillow is not actually treasure 
What do you it's mean? Not, it's oh, not because the pirate didn't enough. take it? Wait, oh, we'll pick up the magazine at least. We got empty oh, yeah, we got magazine. inventory yeah, slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's the magazine say? Ta -da. Can you look at it? What is it? What is it? I didn't see it. Uh, th this is the Spelunker magazine that we found. Yeah, we already had. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sure. And it's written in a language that we are not privy to. All right. All right. Here's a big cave. Oh, that's the way it works. When I first played the original Colossal Cave, I would think about it and I in bed to solve a puzzle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like Yeah, that's really cool. I mean and, and frankly, I think that wow, like look at that. so many games lose that sense of wonder, especially with just like here's a walkthrough guide and this and that. And I feel like competitive games is one of the few places where you still get that feeling. Where you're just like, I literally have no idea how to overcome that. Like how do I beat that? Oh, is that true? Thing? Is that true? Because I always you know, my problem with competitive stuff, like, is usually that it feels very solved. Or, or no, that's not it. Because, like, chess isn't solved, but I feel like yeah, I know I mean, how that doesn't to beat chess. Right. Like, how, to, how to win at chess <clears throat> is, like, you have to start by, like, studying and memorizing or something. You are following my... Whoa. Or I guess, I guess what I'm saying is that competitive cabin. stuff often, I feel like it probably usually has, like, narrow rest. solution spaces. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, is not my... My jam is more... Let's try Whoa. something no one's ever thought of before. <laughs> Stuff falling from the ceiling. I think, Lee, maybe you just need to get in on a competitive gaming scene while the meta is still being developed. Because then there's a lot of, like, just trying stuff out to see what happens. But, like, at some point, that starts to become crystallized. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, the thing is that, like, when a new magic set comes out, the meta is pretty crystallized, like, before it launches. Mm. <laughs> you know? And then, like, right, then you so... can buy, like, in, like the best deck. You can buy, like, the quote-unquote best known deck. Like, that's not a quote, actually. You can buy, like, a best known deck for, like, a billion dollars. All right. All right. There are faint rustling noises from the darkness behind you. Okay, I don't. Wait, from the darkness behind me? All right, or is this the darkness in front in front of me? It's too tight. You Ooh. cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an you can't item get that through you're there. carrying. Because, because of an item that I'm carrying. Okay, wait. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Let me wait, try this. Wait, oh shoot. Okay, so let me drop this. Let me drop the axe. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel somewhere. because yeah, of an item that. that you're carrying. All right, so tasty look, food. This is where I'm going to process of elimination. This. Yeah, I think it's the cushion. You think it's the cushion? You think that the cushion, the only foldable object that we have? You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. All right, hold on. You best take it. I don't know how to work with this person. Maybe requires a, you cannot, you cannot fit. Okay, so I, 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 I it, dropping things you're carrying requires a nice wide flat. Oh, oh, I wasn't velvet dropping anything. pillow. All right. Drop it there. All right. All right. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. Now, do we think that it is Spelunker because... today. I think it might be the quantity of items. Yeah. So let's let's Empty go. Empty bottle. So let me drop the three items Dwarf that I already app. dropped and tested and see if it lets us through. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. All right. So... Bra Tasty. Do I have to drop everything? You cannot uh, fit maybe. through this tight tunnel. Not your you cannot lamp, fit surely. This tight tunnel. Surely not no, your lamp. Not the lamp. Not the lamp. Okay, I'm going. Oh in. my god. You cannot fit through this tight tunnel because you are carrying an item. You probably should have turned the lamp off. Before... All right, that's, that's, that's a good call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So if I brass lamp, lamp you off, have turned off. Drop it. Okay. Well, maybe. Oh. Okay. okay, okay yeah. Okay, good. Okay, sweet. Okay. Okay. So, will I really want? I don't. I'm in. 
dude, I want this. There is an emerald here the size of a plover's egg. So I am what? I, I, the size of a plover's egg. Wait, I, I'm 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 curious. Can Roberta, how how long was this game in development? I didn't even look at all. I just sort of saw that this had come out. I I I did not know what a plover was. A plover is a kind of bird. You are in a small chamber lit by an eerie green light. I um an extremely named narrow town plover in a Dungeons and Dragons thing one time. A dark corridor leads It was a nice old city. Two years, man. That's a pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's this is impressive. All right, I am. Jack Sky Slam took like two years. <laughs> that didn't even launch. It <laughs> didn't, didn't look like this. Green light. An extremely I mean, narrow it... tunnel exits to the west. No the shade. Corridor Sky Slam was right. Sky Slam was right. Okay, okay. It okay. launched more or less. <laughs> so you guys are frozen? Are we hung? Oh, oh are we, we frozen? It we is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. Maybe on. by There's frozen no they just mean like that is ice useless cold. right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't... Oh shit. Okay, wait, wait. So... Okay, wait, so... East should be... Okay, so west should be the... Oh, goodness. Oh! That was a mighty fall. You just died. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Okay, wait. Oh, it, it doesn't resurrect you anymore? You you get a, a limited number of resurrections, maybe? We're, we, All right. We qualify it as the novice class adventurer. And you yeah, guys wish right. you could be a novice class adventurer. You wish. That's true. That's true. Twist the crash and cut it back. Hey, welcome. Uh, we died while you were away. We died. Yeah, we got. <laughs> yeah, we died. We went for we real went this in, time, right? Or, or we re reloaded. Huh? Well, we. There's a threatening I, dwarf. I, oh god! A sharp knife is thrown. Oh, oh, and my cat's here. It dwarf's axe. Use throw. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. Oh, oh my god! I can miss, but I thought I was the most skillful gamer. The knife vanishes in a poof of blood. How, how did we die a minute ago? We just like I, fell it off. It was of really something? dark, and I think we walked over a cliff. Yeah. So so <laughs> that'll do it. Here, okay. So I learned I learned a mechanic. I learned a mechanism. So what yeah. happened was we set our lantern down, and I didn't want to waste the oil, so I I unlit it. And then when we went back into the room, it was like too dark to see anything, and so I was sitting still. And then, and then the narrator is like, you will probably fall into a pit. And then I tapped the keyboard for a nanosecond and <laughs> instantly died. I mean, oh. <laughs> I just yeah. touched dead. <laughs> that's, that's, um, was this game tracking our moves? I can't remember. Did it say that we had moves? Uh, like, I don't know if we have moves. We have, yeah, I do. I, we, the lantern has a limited amount of light. Oh. <laughs> so it's either tracking moves You've or distance around or something. around in some little holes and wound up back in the main path. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Okay, wait. Oh no. Complex Junge to Troll to Two Pitch Secret We're Canyon. We're in a secret canyon. Passage. Oh, You're in bed quilt. A long east-west passage with holes everywhere. Oh, I see. All right. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the... Okay, wait, wait. Let's navigate our way back to where we were. I just took the wrong route. So north is I to know, the but now you're in a secret canyon, so... Main passage. It's south is to the secret canyon, right? You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up okay. back in the main passage. <laughs> All right. <gasps> okay. So we now need to figure out why it is that when I go through these various passages, it's not quite letting me go this way. I think it's like it's, maybe a one-way exit. We will see. I there might we might need to do them in a certain order. We've crawled around in some little holes or and wound up back. We might need to just keep trying. <laughs> don't give up. Keep trying. See, it says don't, don't give, give up. up. Keep trying. All right, I'm just gonna go through here. You've crawled around. I'm going to certainly try all of them. Try You've crawled around in some little holes. I'm going to try the ten percent rule. There it is. Bam. There it is. There we go. 
Yo, Whoa. wait, where is this? Whoa. You see a little dwarf sitting here knitting. Alright, see you later. Dropping things you'll carry. You oh. drop dwarf Don't drop axe. it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's that won't work here. Talk to him. Can you not vanquish him because Maybe he's, he's like, a friendly dwarf? There's a threatening dwarf. Yeah. It's, it's a, a sharp dwarf. knife okay. is thrown. Not completely it's a threatening different. dwarf. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's so murdered murdered you. Dwarf. <laughs> oh, dear. He murdered you with a knife. You have been ousted from your adventure. No, no. I'm going to reload. Uh, yeah, I think that's this our is, last one. This is absolutely brutal. This is the original Dark Souls, man. <laughs> we have we have some mission <laughs> wow. critical tummy time that we need to do. All right. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to like mentally map the cave and wander around. Cuz like that's yeah. Cuz this this, yes. this is this is the way of things in these old games, right? You first kind of play through the game until you have a good sense of what the general shape of the puzzles are. And you can try to solve some of them and get stuck on some of them and then you and then you restart at some point and you do it again and you do it again and is again is that and again. true uh i don't know let me tell you something lee this is how i played games before the internet <laughs> i mean i grew up like i i grew up on like arcade games you know so i'm like court i'm like i grew up on like quarter eaters um and then eventually eventually the game would come out on console and then you didn't have to pay quarters anymore <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can go uh, north or southwest. Here's to belt bed quilt. Here's to orient. So I actually didn't see that there were. There's a passage behind the bones. Lee, do you want to go this way or this I'm way? I'm sorry. I'm 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 adjusting my camera because it's every time you open the map, it blows me out. Yeah, this is the, that sounds this weird, is but it's a term. Let's go the, the right way. Oh, you know what? End. You're just gonna have. We're just gonna oh, no. have it as a feature. <laughs> we're gonna have it as a feature so end. that when Sean opens the map, like it's immersive. It looks. Yeah. Like you can see it on my face. Yeah. No. It's. Yeah. It's, what was your question? Exactly. No. See. Look. 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 Lee, what we're gonna do is we're going to use it as a tool to let you know that you're on. You got the spotlight on you. Okay. So. Hey, yeah. Lee. <laughs> which yeah. way should we go? There we go. Which way do we go? Ooh. Um. <sighs> I mean, we've already been to Giant, Bed Quilt, Orient, and that says Dead End. Yeah. What about been... Southwest? What's the Southwest looking like? Down I there? mean, that seems like... Oh, that's right. I can I can actually look at all the maps. You can, yeah. You can oh, look at the maps. Tight. That's right. In Baldur's Gate 3, you can't do this. That's what I'm thinking. Is that true? That's crazy. Yeah, no, I mean like I, there was a there there was a Zizzy cave there. Wait, oh, Zizzy cave? Yeah. Wait, are those listed? Past. Yeah, so like like here's where we are. Does it say Zizzy on the Zizzy cave? It did. Yeah, it's right. Wait, Sean went on. past it's, it really fast. I know, I know. I'm just hearing like, is it here? Click, 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 click. All right, and where's the Zizzy cave? There it is. X Y Z Z Y. Yeah, because this is this is where we walked in and we wandered around through here, mm -hmm, through the mm -hmm, awkward canyon. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there was there was debris this way, and I just I think I just chose not to go this way, for no real reason. I feel it like doesn't. There's, ha there's not a, a thing on the map that point. There's not like an arrow. Yeah, so maybe you I'm couldn't hungry. go that way. <laughs> Got a bag of Milky Ways. I can't. I have. There's no way that I can <laughs> I, contribute I, to that okay. way. I gotta stop writing the writing the dial on this on this camera. But see, this is when I do automatic. I'm getting st you know what you know what it is. I've had a long weekend in a good way, but I'm very tired. And when I'm very tired, what that means is that I go lateral at every moment, at all times. Um, we like at all times. We don't know where this cave goes, but we also don't know where Lee's mind will go. <laughs> that's true. So 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 you know that's a feature, but right now it's it's very apparent. So. Um, You're in basically, don't ask me any question you want to answer to. Only in both directions. <clears throat> yeah. Oh my God! We um, just have. You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. Holy shit! 
a white mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far side. A southwest path leads away from the chasm into a winding corridor. Corridor? Okay, here's the troll room. Okay. You're in a long, sloping corridor. You're on one side a corridor. You're on the southwest side of a chasm. Alright, hold on. You're on the southwest side of a chasm. Alright. Is <laughs> I'm immediately I'm like trying to move slowly. I guarantee you in a text-based adventure game, it does not mean it's like walk, but slowly. Alright, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. All right, so I assume a white that... mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far. Wait, look at me. I'm learning, dude. I'm learning. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fun the is troll learning. Steps Isn't that out what from we beneath the bridge from, uh, and blocks your way. Theory of fun. That's right. Would you say, Lee? You're you're learning, Lee. <laughs> fun is learning, but not all learning is fun. That's true. All right, here we go. Here we go. Or at least that's so just the windows. Golden <laughs> eggs. Wait, what? What if I? What if I? Pillow. Just, what if you, what if you threw I... a velvet pillow at the troll? No one treads on my bridge without payment. Stop, pay troll. Here, what about? Look, look at this. This I recently learned is not a pirate-worthy uh, thieving object. Pir Piratable treasure. That doesn't interest. The Those troll. are some. Ultra low rise Dwarf troll pants, axe. if I may say so. Actually, ultra low rise troll pants is an amazing product. Tasty food. Oh, let me actually, because I was, uh, I was brought, Wait, axe. I feel like you would like some tasty yeah. food. See, I was about to like try to kill him with the axe, but let me. Tasty let me, food. Let me, let me use this. Gluttony is not payment. Right, really? Wolf's axe. Okay, maybe, maybe eggs. I was led to believe that. Mm. Oh know, shit, look at what you did. But not valuable enough. Oh my god. Not valuable enough? He's oh, huge. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank He's god. Very oh, wait, I guess it's a dwarf axe. It's probably I like... extremely much thought that he was going to throw it back and murder us. Right. Did you try giving him the eggs? Because the eggs axe. look valuable. What if I'm just very compelling when I throw it? Maybe like a headshot? <laughs> Good work. I, he's, a, he's an axe catcher. <laughs> I love not that. He's just so enough. casual. All right. All right. Go Tasty right. food. Golden I, egg. I, eggs. I'm, Did I'm you give him the give eggs? Him I'm just going to give him some eggs. Give him the eggs. Payment. <laughs> Yoink. Do we lose there points for that? There you go. See? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do we lose points for that? I think we did, but that's fine. I want to see what's on the oh, other side Oh, did we? This. Yeah. Okay, well, the troll listen. steps out from beneath the bridge. You blocks your oh, no, I give a troll an egg. Oh, All right, here we go. Golden eggs. No one treads Get on it. my bridge without payment. Out of the way. I, I like that he's like doing stuff. Oh my oh, god, he's just he's just gone. Can I like? And he's can you gone. Yeah, can you follow? The troll lives below. Don't try to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> the games, I love it. these games. I think laterally, figure out puzzles, explore everywhere, and it's like, what are you doing down there? He lives there. It's like so rude. Like, weren't invited that, in. Wasn't <laughs> that okay? That moment is like, I remember from when I was a kid, and like my dad and I were playing right. a King's Quest game, and uh, he got like super frustrated about something. And what's funny is that this is not characteristic, but he got so frustrated about something, and he just like kind of like hit the keyboard you know yeah. and then the game said like you're getting frustrated aren't you or like some shit like <laughs> all right that's amazing it was good it was good that's amazing yeah so all right i mean we've crossed over here dude god look how pretty that is i remember talking about this with like the dark souls games that yeah i think large stretches where you're just kind of walking is underused like just literally just walking around and looking. Oh, did I did I tell you about how I like to play Skyrim? Because I want to yes and that. Yeah, um, yes and away, my dude. <laughs> also, like. <laughs> All right, when you said my dude, that was like a little misgendering. But then what happened was, what came right into my mind was, I'm not your dude. 
bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. But yes, my point is, uh, <laughs> I found out that I really don't like quick travel. So like I installed, so then I started walking, right? Yeah. And then I installed yes. some mods so that I made a mod so that you like, I can't remember if it's you have to sleep, but definitely like when you have to eat, um, another you can get you can get harmed by being in the in in too cold of areas which is cool because i think i don't know if the makers of that mod then like had to add coldness to different areas um i would think they did yeah and then there was one for making a camp and i can't remember it if you had to it seems inhospitable i'm just saying but it's awesome because oh, and then I, I also added a mod so that like horse 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 based travel was faster, rules, and so that your followers could ride yeah. horses. So basically, the then you're like be heard a steady survivaling your way so across left. Skyrim is really good. Yeah, dude, I, I I've seen mods like that where all you do is like you're playing the same game, but you're still just like you're in the world more often than you're playing the game. Cause it's just like so easy in Skyrim to just be like clicking and like teleporting yeah. everywhere and like running from points. All right, let's take You're it. At a I, love, with warm balls. I love the thing of how part of adventuring is just camping. You're just, you just gotta, you just gotta have rations. You just gotta go, you know, it's, I love that. And look at that. Oh my gosh. To Mount Doom. Now, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but when the explorers went into the cave, this is exactly what they saw. Like, literally, this is just a recreation <laughs> of a non fiction okay. story. Can, can, we, can we talk about the frame-based animation? I'm assuming it's a frame-based animation of the lava, because the fact that that's frame-based is giving me such Disney vibes in such a good way. Like... When you see the frame-based stuff, in addition to the like, yeah, um, rendered 3D animations, it has a very peculiar kind of effect, and um, whatever that is, it's doing it for me. Yeah, that's it, like giving me some Bald Mountain, you know, kind of shit right no, there. No, I mean it's it's very like, um, like you said, it's like very like traditional hand animation Disney look to it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and when you put those frame animations side by side with like, you know, thirty frame per second animations, it's like, it it does something. There's something aesthetic to that, that that is interesting. All right, you know, I actually I want I want to hear what the narrator has to say. You see a breathtaking view. Far yeah. below lies an active volcano from which gobs of molten lava surge and cascade to the depths. The glowing rock bathes think... the cavern with a blood-red glare, feigning a macabre appearance. The air is dense with sparks of ash, the smell of brimstone, and walls too hot to touch. Oh. The thundering volcano is so deafening it drowns out all sounds. Embedded in the jagged roof far overhead, twisted formations of white alabaster scatter the murky light to become sinister apparitions upon the walls. So wait, wait. on one side, Sick you see a deep gorge encasing tortured rock that seems to be crafted by the devil himself. To your left, an immense river of fire gushes from the volcano's depths, then flows through the gorge to plummet into a bottomless pit. A oh, bottomless pit. On the right, a huge geyser of blistering steam erupts from a barren island within a bubbling sulfurous lake. Above, the wall flickers with a glow <laughs> of its own, lending more infernal splendor to an already hellish scene. So wait, wait. I am curious, is is the narrator's words the same thing as what was written in Colossal Cave? You know what? Two-parter. Question one, that question I just said. Question two, these maps, is this? Oh, yes, it is the original. Oh, that's so sick. That's cool. Oh, my God. That's very cool. And also, these maps, so if, I, if, if my memory serves me correctly... I, I recall reading like interviews where they said Roberta Williams would like actually illustrate maps of these text-based adventure games. Are these like based on your sketches of what these maps were like? Because like I remember doing the same thing for King's Quest One when I was in college and realizing that it was actually just like a it, it, it was like a full donut 
toroid shape. Yeah. Everything just linked back. So I kept all the original <laughs> messages and only wrote some extras that we need because of the graphics. Oh, that's so cool. That's rad. That's right. very cool. All right, let me let me try to re regain my keyboard from my cat. There you go. You can keep on napping. <laughs> All right. Resume. Also, <clears throat> also, looking back at the chat, it appears that some of the sheer uh, 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 postulation that I did may have been inaccurate. You know, <laughs> I no. say a lot of things on this show. <laughs> we all say a lot of things. We don't, we don't hold it against you. It may or may you. not be based in fact. <laughs> it turns out when you're on the internet and you have a microphone and maybe a camera, um, you kind of just have to fill space. You just say things. 95% of things I say are not things I believe. It's just words that <laughs> fell out of my mouth. And whenever anyone asks for my opinion, I will forget it in 24 hours. Yeah, the visuals are based on the original descriptions. Yeah. Oh, dude, Roberta Williams says, no, <gasps> my map awesome. for the original Colossal Cave was simply done on graph paper. Fuck yeah. Fuck yes, graph That's paper. That's what I'm talking Fuck about. Yeah, yes. Paper. And oh, this right area, right. with the breathtaking view, shall occupy this one by one square, as every <laughs> location does. <laughs> You're in a small chamber filled with large boulders. All right. The walls are very warm, causing the air in the room to Can be stifling. Spill some food. The only exit is a crawl <clears throat> heading west, from which a low rumbling noise can be heard. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's only. There are rare spices here. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. It appears um, someone has been cooking over this small volcanic hotspot. Tonight's drinking game is drink whenever I accidentally spontaneously interrupt people without intending to. Oh, this is great. This is this is this is the curse of my internet lately, where it's been a little bit unstable. All right, we're just gonna go south. I don't know if we are going to use that location at all. Just to give you a sense of how how the my very spicy neurodivergences are tonight. I'm still looking for graph paper just to show you that I have some. I literally, <laughs> yeah, I looked and I reached and I remembered, oh no, it's out on the kitchen table. But also, but also I'll say this, I'm loving it. I am loving my little search for graph paper while what, we're doing a what show. Is, what's written on that trash can? Bear in room, bear food. Bear food, oh, there's God, some bear Don't food. get in there, don't get, don't get in there. Look, I'm just gonna look. You're standing at the entrance to a large barren room. Barren room? I... Barren room. Barren, barren room. room. God damn it, barren is, room. Is it a large barren room? You're in front barren, of a barren room. Barren. You're in front of a bear in room. I mean, come on. That has to be deliberate. That has to be. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. I read into everything, so why wouldn't I read into that? All right. Um, barren room. Sweetheart. Oh, although. I'm gonna move your head. Yeah. There you go. I'm still okay. I'm definitely still tickled by the fact that I saw the bear food can, and my first thought was, "Don't go in." You're the in front of can. a barren room. Oh, is that what you were saying? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I meant. Is if you see, if you see, if you see a big garbage can and it says yeah. bear food on it, don't yeah. get in it. Don't get because then you're sending the wrong impression to any bears that might be nearby. You know. Yeah, I, I think. Definitely to someone, you're definitely saying the wrong thing. Yeah. You know, I, I recently went to um, Yellowstone, which was unbelievable. Like, one of the most yeah. incredible experiences of my life. And the recklessness that people have around wildlife mm -hmm. is, is uncanny. Really? I mean, people just don't get that it is so easy to get gored by a bison. And I remember... Yeah, Britt Jesus. And I ate at this cafe, and then we walked to this, like... From the cafe and we just like stood on this beautiful shoreline looked out looked at the clouds took some photos and like hey let's head back to the car and there's like this little sort of walk up and then they, there's like this open field and so we walk up this edge and like we walk and as you get over there's a bison right there like probably not more than 20 feet away so immediately i'm like yo bro we gotta really back up let's go take the long way around um and so we were like really trying to like carefully step away, carefully get around. And like oh. all these other people are just like, oh my God, bison. And they're like taking their phone out and like walking Jesus. up. And there is a woman who had like a cast on her foot. And so she's just like walking over unevenly, just smiling with her hand on her hip, like a fanny pack right here. And she must have been less than 10 feet away from this bison, man. And so anytime I see some 
you know, like, hey, look, don't feed the bears. Uh, warning, there's moose here. I just cannot stop thinking about that lady just standing 10 feet away from a vice. That's crazy. So let's so yeah. let's just walk right in here. So let's just walk into this bear cave. Dude, it's going to be a jump scare, isn't it? Um, Sean, you know what you're supposed to yeah. say if you see a bison? Yeah. You're supposed to say bye, son, and leave. And get out. That's, that's it, like, the name yeah. tells you what to do. Yep. Holy, oh, oh God. my God. Oh, no, he's into metal. Whoa. The bear is locked to the Whoa. floor with a golden chain. Whoa. A golden chain? That's... Look yeah, at the rendering get on the that golden chain. chain? Me... There's something, the there's something going on here where, like... The graphical, graphical, the graphical rendering, wait, that is a word, um, is, it is not a word. super sophisticated, but the, I guess the art direction or something, like, Tasty like that's a cool vignette, right? The, bear the way that that chain is glistening looks which he so seems good. To calm down considerably. Oh my god, it's just like And even me. becomes rather friendly. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, this is exactly how CC sits. Oh, the bear is still okay, attached well, that, to the chain. A bit of clipping, but that's the chain okay. is locked oh, to the bear. A, we need like a. Oh um, shit! <laughs> so when I, I come don't... back, the bear might be hungry again. All right, this is the game. Well, you did feed this him the bear, the, the bear minimum. So. All right. Um, it feels, it feels like ethically we cannot leave this bear in this cave underground, locked in there. But I guess. Someone's feeding the bear, right? Like, I mean, I can see. Right, there's a there's a thing marked bear food right outside. The bear is still attached to the chain. That is Did you see his little ears go? In one corner. Oh God, Damn! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh hell God. yes! Oh, my God, look, he's smiling. He's happy. He's a happy bear. He's even got his own baby pool. Look at this. Party time. Um. All right. So... We have explored through all of this, and I realize now that one of the things that we will need to do is we will need to get the gold chain. So we will need to find the key that allows us to... Okay, so so it feels like this area is like one puzzle where I need to give treasure to the troll to be able to cross, to use the key to get the gold chain from the bear and the spices from here. Right, so now now I should just go back. Oh, dude, Rip I dropped all my keys pillow. somewhere. I don't remember where I dropped my keys, man. I just like uh -oh. chucked them all on oh, the ground. Oh, you just like put them somewhere? Like you were like, oh, these, you know, what I don't need is a bunch Probably of keys. What I, love, keys. what I love to have is this pillow. Yeah, I, <laughs> you were like, I know, places to go. You were like, <laughs> you're like yeah, what I miss it... a Cito right now is a dwarf magazine. Does the what map I don't remember need... where you dropped stuff? Zizzy. Uh... Oh, Zizzy. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Zizzy Zizzy right. I think the map guitar. remembers, because I think I remember it being nearby the original entrance where I couldn't climb back up. So... Ooh. where Reason to take some notes. Yeah, we, um... We don't really... We don't really yeah, take yeah, notes. That's right. Here's yeah. all my garbage. And also... <laughs> I don't think we've ever there. taken a note. I take notes all the time. Oh, that's right, on your little stickies. Yeah, yeah. no, you oh, don't my little stickies. Like, like, together we form, a, like, a functional human, right? Because, like, I will, I will play the game, Sean will take notes about the game, and we will and provide just the commentary shit. on the game, right? We, so, the, so. It's not commentary, it's, it's whatever this is. <laughs> yeah. I love how you're, like, Lee will I mean, provide the commentary, and I'm like, it's not commentary, it's... Okay. Oh, I don't necessarily know that's true. No. You know, while I'm sitting here just thinking about how I want to navigate back, I'm going to try to... As Sean's sitting here thinking about how he's going to navigate that, this is very interesting because Sean sometimes likes to likes to do that sort of Zizzy. Thought. No, go on. I'm just providing commentary. Zizzy. This reminds me of uh, 2016 Zizzy. when... That is useless right now. Sean was navigating maps in some uh, other context. Uh, all right. God. You know, I'm sorry, Sean B., but you cannot say this reminds me of... There's no, there's no timing after like twenty. I know it's fourteen. It's that's up. okay. You can't say you know. Yeah, that's true. We just lived through a, oh, what? an era. We we all lived through an era. Is the fork back here? Did I just walk right past the fork? I sure did. 
Dude, I am just like barreling into darkness. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge. <laughs> Wasn't that the, uh, your fifth, way. Uh, new star no right? one treads on my bridge without payment. Uh, how about spice? That's some spice. Mm -hmm. Oh, he liked that. Dude, wait, what'd see. you get? Spice. Give him some spice. From a little campfire. I gave him a mint. Look, okay, took Here, a mint. here's all I ask. Wait, is all it, I ask is that it, if something oh, that's interesting different... happens, you tell me about it because no, that's I the will same bridge. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, all what? I'm saying is, I'm like, do we do we need to do we need to mathematically minimize the number of bridge traversals? I mean, as as a novice adventurer, Sean, I think that it is very plausible that we are actually going to try to do that. I, but the okay. thing is, we didn't lose points, and so That's true. some of the old school adventure games would have like a solution that would give five points, but there was a more correct solution that would give ten points. Those are the ones that are impossible to find. Um, the events that cause you to lose points, I don't remember if we had point losing moments in the game. Um, we lose points every time we die. We. Oh right. I mean, that's just Buddhism, honestly. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna navigate my way through. We're gonna go back here. There are faint rustling noises from the darkness behind you. Oh, they must be cattle rustlers. Yeah, what's that? All right. So I'm gonna wander my way back and I guess we're gonna go try to find some keys, man. I think this dwarf magazine we just don't need at all. So we're back here. Do we want to go to Bed Quilt? Do we want to go to Orient? No, I want to go back to Orient in Southeast. Yeah, let's get reoriented. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my camera is freezing again. Let me tell you something. Oh. I, I really look forward to saying every time we do a mostly walk-in, man, I really got to fix that camera. And then just not do it for <laughs> another week, probably till the end of the year, probably till I get a new PC. <laughs> Because that's the thing, is that, like, if it's a really big task that will take me, like, eight hours to do, I'll get started on it. But if it's something that would take me an hour to do, yeah, I'll get around to that. I'll get around. I promise. I'll right, get around to it. Right, 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 right. All right. In we go. Please wait. Oh, yes. That oh, this room. Miss Prim. The Ming Vase. This Oh, I remember what I messed up last time. Okay, so here's here's what we need to do. We need to walk up this. No, this is not the right way to go. I need to go the other way. Okay, let me let me. I know what I need to do now. <laughs> so this is uh, to the orient. Oh, this is Swiss cheese room. I like Swiss cheese. I like all cheese. I love that these rooms have names the same as like. As, as I think I mentioned this last time, but the same as how like cavern, like chambers and caverns have actual yeah. Meaning. Nothing happens. Like you, you know, it's like you talk to like caving Wolf people, and axe. they're all just like, "Well, I, I got work, past yeah. the, uh, I got past the chandelier, but I couldn't make it through the like, uh, nothing you happens. know, the uh, dry cleaner, Dude, yeah, it's, dry cleaner. It's, it's like watching a really Kane long Counter passage. It's like, all right, he's, he's going. He's going <laughs> all the rooms, all the rooms have egg. screen names. Yeah, <laughs> all the rooms have handles. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? This seems to be an ancient ritual vessel for cooking food. Ming huh. empty bottle. We must have rolled a 20 on our uh, investigation check on that one. These wall drawings must have been quite beautiful when first created. <laughs> you find them. I want to live in this them. room. Yeah, why not? This game is providing me with many, many rooms that I would love to just live in, which is which is unusual. And I think it's, it actually says something really nice about the game. So this is where there's the really long passage to the plover room. Yep. Okay. So. So did we do oh, this is where we died last time. But okay, good. I, I now know what to do. So we're going to. What is this? You're in a meandering lava tunnel. Okay, so here is it Brass just lantern. This? <laughs> you cannot keep your lantern this on tunnel because of an item that you're carrying. Oh, Ming we have Oh, come on. Shit. 
I am such a novice adventurer, man. I don't care. I don't care at all. I don't care because what we're going to do is we're actually going to play the game for hours to play. We're going to do it fucking properly. Oh play it as a do. What we're going to do, my dudes, is we are going to just absolutely kludge our way through this game, bump yes. our head on the roof. We're going to get it's scraped. True. We're going to shatter treasure. We're going to like feed the bear the meat that we shouldn't have and leave him locked up down there. We're going to do it for a while. <laughs> Roberta Williams says, I didn't warn you. I wanted you to figure this out for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? Now we're having fun. Now we're having fun. <laughs> As we as we were leading up to that, were you whispering under your breath? I might want to set that face down, Sean. <laughs> set it down. Like it's good. because it's because good. If, if you wanted to wait, uh, yes. Well, welcome to Twitch, where that's exactly what it means to be a viewer on this platform. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. All right. Oh, Arcane Wind says now now it's a Ming was. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> what? You could never put Sean, them together again. I bet you can again. fix it. I bet you can fix it. Just um. Oh my God! Listen to this. You could never put them together again. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Velvet. I see that we're using Humpty Dumpty protocols. Empty. All right. See, I I need to leave the lamp on so that way when I go back through, it's still light in the passage. Dumpty chairs at Dumpty tables. You hear the call of a plover. All right, you know what? Here, like, this is. Wait, wait! Oh, we got a plover call. Oh, the plover says, "This." You hear the call of a plover. What? You feel a strange Holy pulling shit. sensation. Wait, what? You zizzy. I literally, you my zizzy. lantern is over there. Oh shit! Oh you did my a zizzy. god! Fuck! <laughs> it's my here. lantern. Where are you? <laughs> oh, I can't see. Sh I can't fucking see oh, anything no. at all. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> we'll be fine as long as we don't move. Just don't move. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch the button. Just I literally, whatever you do. I just I don't need to hit the button. Can Can you unplover? All right. So let's. What happens if I do this? You hear the call of a plover. You yeah. feel a strange okay, whoa, okay, whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we unplugged it and we plugged yes. it back in again. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, hold on. I'm going to save the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's good. So what? Okay. So the plover does a little... Two-way teleportation. Well, I mean, the plover. We're in the so, plover room. Wait, if we can figure out. Oh, that's sick. <clears throat> I love that. Does the plover take us to a specific place? Oh, oh, it'll take us back in here, so we can go out and we can pick up our lantern and all the rest of our shit, and then we can tweet, tweet, tweet. I mean, I'm gonna leave. That's it. what I was thinking. Yeah. But do we have to do it from a from somewhere? Maybe. Uh, we will find out. I mean, I do most things from somewhere. <laughs> Egg-sized emerald. All right, so let me... You that hear the a... call of a plover. Beep, 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 beep. That won't work here. What? It does jack shit. Okay, so, so here's the... <laughs> we, we need to know... We need to know where <laughs> that sentence... All right, so here... Mm. Okay, all right. Okay, so Sean. Yeah. Sentence. Can There's you no drop your here. your belongings again? Yeah. I guess including the emerald now. All right. Egg dwarf. Well, no, maybe Grass you can keep lantern. the emerald. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Empty bottle. And then Dropping go things back you're carrying into the emerald room. Nice you cannot fit through this tight tunnel because of an mm. item that you're carrying. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. Empty All right, here we go. Okay, Sean, I'm doing this. I'm copy. I'm gonna get my unusual and then, large jug of water, and we're gonna. Gonna do this okay, shit. and then we, that is a jug of water, and then you're gonna plover from here, and then look at you your hear map. The call of a plover. Oh, are we gonna we're gonna game this? Because then we can actually. Oh no, no, no. Oh, Sean, I, I forgot to tell you. If you can't see anything, when you hit M, nothing happens. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. You have, <laughs> you, you have to live with your pain. That's what happens. Um, okay, so so I think that one thing. 
that we could do, which is how I would play the game when left to my own devices, is we can wander around and just spam that tweeting. We can just tweet like crazy. In every room. Just constantly. <laughs> it's a room that doesn't have any natural light. We know that. Yeah. Um, if you... Hmm. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I think that... I'm going to go ahead and scoop my head under your, your little head desk. And there you go. Oh, wait, is there a light over... Nope, nope, nope. Just making things up. Okay, so I, I'm starting to get the sense of some broad puzzles, which reminds me a lot of, like, when we played Riven, where you started to get the sense that there was a puzzle going on <laughs> around you. Where, yeah, like, like, I'm feeling a little puzzly. Oh, yeah. So, like, here, we need to get back here There's to figure out what's this way. Um, yeah. And similarly, the troll, we need to figure out how to get the key to release the bear. And then... Okay, so so this, this I kind of see where, where this little puzzle status is. So I'm going to bail. You know what I like about plovers? Lee... You know, I was, I've been thinking a lot about plovers recently, so I was wondering if I could emotionally connect to you on this. But I want you to go first. Tell me, like, what, what do you love about plovers? They're the only bird that, that, that um, in a by-the-book way, correctly responds to a traffic stop. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Excuse me. Plover. Get it? You got oh, there. So you got good. there. You got there. <laughs> All right, to bed quilt, which is to the east. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard, Sean B. If you think about it too oh. hard, it doesn't quite. Uh, oh, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that one was borderline riddle. It was. Okay, so. Banly. I I did ban myself once. Because I'm true. a mod, or I was, no, am I a mod? <laughs> I was a mod somewhere, I think maybe in, at some point someone modded me and I banned myself. And yes, it yeah. works. Yes, you can do that. Okay, also, so where, um, where are you headed to next, Sean? I don't, I don't actually know. Because here, here's where little Clamdar is. Um, There is. I hey, wait, yeah. what's that bird? Right there. Oh, there's the bird chamber. There's literally the bird chamber. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna resume. Does Zizzy work? Zizzy, Zizzy. What? Nothing happened. Wait, what just happened? You hear the call of a Somebody... plover. There's nothing to do with it here. <laughs> just... Who de okay. Who deleted my message? <laughs> Who deleted Ghosty's message? What's going on Ghost here? Stalker can delete. Messages, including messages from Ghost Stalker. What? Yeah. So I, I want to look through here and see. Oh, there's an altar room here. Oh, there's this Y2 room. I don't think we went west from there. So I think that we want to go from Bed Quilt, which is where we are. We want to go back to the Halls of Mist, which is. Oh, we, we also haven't gone west here. So we're going to go from bed quilt awesome. room east to the complex junction. Oh, I see. When it says two something, that means there's another <laughs> map. Yeah. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. So then if we went... So here's like a little um, closed off area. But we want to go up to Dusty Rocks. We haven't been here in a while. Oh, my God. Ken, Roberta Wilms has got to go now. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. Roberta, really an honor and a yes, pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much for coming. This is yeah. so fun. <laughs> We're live every Monday at 7 unless one of us is tired and then we won't be here. So. <laughs> but uh, we play sincerely, thank you for like being one of my design heroes in life. I yeah, played all your games uh, growing up. Uh, and as you can yep. see, I'm still playing them. Uh, you can't yep. the evidence you know speaks for itself heck yeah uh yep. and uh i am in game design now uh in large part thanks to you so fuck yeah yep yeah yeah yep. yeah and that's, thanks that's to you too, true for both of us <laughs>
All right, so let me let me my this cat is really removing my gravita here. So let me just get her out. There we go. <laughs> Your gravitas. Cheers. All right, let's yes. figure out where the heck to go. Bye. Bye. All right, so this is west, right? So we have not yet gone through here. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where you started. What? Don't give up. Like us. Don't Keep give up. Keep trying. All right. Is, are we in the uh You stumble around in the dark. Which one is this? Return where you started. So we are up here in dusty rocks. Oh, okay. There's a new one. Crimson and clover. All right, I got to stop with that. You stumble around. Yeah, this is like dark. old school mostly you walking where, where you started. Uh, I'm going to keep doing this. You and stumble I don't think they around have karmic the dice here and seem to have returned where you started. Don't give up. You stumble around in the dark and seem to have returned where so, you started. So, okay, I'm going to do this ten more times. You stumble around in the dark, and seem to have returned where you started. That's, that, that will guarantee you stumble a around result. in the dark, yeah, and seem I mean, to have returned this is where turning you started. It, this is, I feel like we're about to have like a, a house beat drop. Is that what the kids say? <laughs> God God damn boom. Boom, 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 boom. I was going to say it sounds like techno, but then I realized it makes it sound like a... Some sort it's, of... Um, I mean, it's the kind of audio EDM, clip. Right? I believe... Fonk is the right Fonk? um is, is the Fonk right genre. now? Fonk. Hold on. What is anything? So Fonk, P H O N K is a type of super blown out just you know what? Just get on Spotify, look up Fonk, start find like best Fonk playlist and it's just it's just so I'm goofy and out of control. Not going to do that. Right, I'm, I'm going to do that. Fuck it. Listen, I'm there are Spot there are certain privileges five. that come with being fucking 40 years old and one of them is that you don't have to know what the fuck music is anymore. <laughs> I was too old for crunk and now you expect me to listen to funk? That yeah, really and of course in 10 years it's going to be splanch. It's just going to keep <laughs> going more impactful, <laughs> more letterful one syllable words. It's the year 2397 and the hot new craze Fnork. <laughs> Fnork. It's Fonk. 12 now, letters if I play long. This, you're not going to hear this if I play it right, because that would... I, no. You know what? I'm not going to hit play. That is, I believe, true. I'm no. going to quit Spotify. <laughs> I'm not going to hit play on any any uh, 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 copyright-ish thing while I am connected in any way to your channel. The internet. Yeah, that's fair. You hear the word plu. What? Blue. Blue? You hear the word plur. Plu? Plu. Did, you... <laughs> Did you hear the word plu? You feel a strange pulling sensation. What? Where is this going to take I think us? I, I think I blew out my funk. Well, well, we just... It's so funny that we're talking about funk and splanch, You're and then we the just well get house. plu. What? <laughs> plu? Plu. Plu. You feel a strange Blue. pulling sensation. Blue. 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 I'm waiting for the Blue. definition. This sounds like a uh, Oxford English Dictionary <laughs> online uh, entry for blue. 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 Chat. Blue. Uh, I just I'm wondering. Chat. I'm just wondering if everybody could just say blue for a why? second. Wait a minute. Wait. I gotta I gotta scroll back here because I want to see something. Because blue. Uh. Blue. <laughs> Okay. It's pronounced pluff. Plu. Okay, I didn't. I didn't realize this. I didn't realize this. But when Roberta Williams left, says, "I have to go now. Go to Y two, and like, you can see, like, right. You can see that. Oh, I, I thought that this was an abbreviation for something I didn't understand. Like, you know, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go to. Oh my god, my camera froze again. I'm on Damn my it. way off to. Yeah. Y two. I'm going to Y two. Yeah. No, that's that's what I thought was actually being said to me. <laughs> I just so love this. Sick. Like literally, the at the last possible second, like like literally, go go stalker deleted deleted a message. Herbert Williams signs like a large go. room. We don't allow back a passage here. to the south, <laughs> a passage to the west, <laughs> and a wall of broken rock to the east. I okay. I do. I really, really need some like insight on this because the original version of this was text only. It was not voice acted. Yeah. So they took the word P L U G H and Plu. they had to come up with a pronunciation for it. And yeah. the pronunciation that they came up with was plu. And I want to hear from the two of you 
is that is that the decision that you would have made? Yeah. How would you have directed the actor? I would have I would have said you say plug, but then you hit an H real hard afterwards. Plug, 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 plug. Ah, plug. That went right in there. And it went right in the ear. So it I went know. right in the ear. It was the ten percent chance of getting right in the ear, and I hit it on the first yeah, try. And it and it did it. <laughs> I definitely would say pluff. That is that is clearly pluff. Oh yeah. <laughs> to me, yeah. Uh, we know what a ten percent chance is. You hear the I don't the think you do. Nothing happens. Sean, you got it right in the air, Sean. Whoa. Who's that? Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh is that us? Have Do we, we have had a cool ass hat on the whole Wait, time? Hold... We've been wearing oh, a we've hat been hit by, We've been struck by a smooth criminal. I am a smooth this criminal. This is the kind of thing that you need to tell me <laughs> up front. Sean, could you please uh, moonwalk? Could you please just do a little moonwalk? Ding, 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 is, ding. is that something you can make happen? Ding, ding. I don't know how to do a Michael Jackson. I, I, here's my Michael Jackson. <laughs> what is this? I wouldn't touch that. You could get electrocuted. Oh, no. The narrator would not touch that. So. So. Hmm. <clears throat> ah! Is it pirate? <laughs> I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with me chest deep in the maze. Oh, damn you want a Ming thief. vase? Uh, do you want the pieces of the Ming vase? Okay, all right. There's gonna be a sh it there's says, gonna be a shattered pirate two. who picks those up. There's no use for that here. That is useless right now. You're in a large room oh, with wow. three exits. So. Huh. All my exits are in Texas. <laughs> so can you? Did we make it to the bird room? Wait, I wanna. Ew. There's no use for that here. That is useless. Hello. Right now. Dwarf. That's a axe. mirror. Oh There's fuck no use yeah. For that here. God damn it! If this were D and D, I could do that. And then the what? DM would be like, "No, you, you can't get your axe back." He's waving at me. He's... What is going on? This suddenly became the creepiest thing I've ever seen in a game. That is useless right now. Yeah, he's got like an idle animation. <gasps> we have swinging an his idol arms around. Around. That don't work here. <clears throat> oh man. All right, so so what are what are my other items? Blue. Blue. Pluff. Blue. It's pronounced pluff. Plew. So this is. Oh, where, where's the tomb room? We need that plew. Is... Oh no, that's just like a little a little hole. So there's that. So I'm actually gonna go up the ancient hall to see like what other loot we had. Wait, ancient hall was west? Am I crazy? East. Oops. Yeah, I was going the right way. Okay, so. A little bit this of a looks, yeah, Are we going back to the Zizzy room? I'm going back to the Zizzy. Start, baby. Zizzy. Okay, so wait. So I am. I need to go to the southeast. All right. So here's here's what I got. So this Bars is of we silver, don't think of gold. large gold nugget, precious jewelry. Oh, the precious. Wait, I don't think we wa actually want that stuff. Large bars of silver. Yeah, we, we just of want keys. Sean, could I interest you in a large bar of silver? There's nothing to do with it here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you won't get up the steps, but I think I think I can get up the steps now that I'm not carrying the gold. All right. So I'm, I'm going to go back to the bird room. Yeah, and go I, to the, the bird room. I wonder if I actually have to escape with the stuff like, where is it? Open forest? Yeah, like, do I just escape to the well house? Is that how it is? Okay, from the bird room, can you use the bird? I'm going to do it. You hear the Well, no, because there's plover. natural light in here. 
That is useless right now. Yeah, damn it. Rawr. Huh. Those barrels right off the edge. Can't go under it. Alright. So here was the other way that I was curious about. Oh, whoa. Okay, what's the that? You're in a room filled with debris. An awkward cabinet leads to the west. What is Black this? Rod. That's so sick. What is this? Black Rod. It's black a rod. I think it's a, it's a black, it's a black rod. rod. <laughs> you are in a debris room filled with stuff washed in from the surface. A low, wide passage with cobbles becomes plugged with mud and debris here. But an awkward canyon leads upward and west. Huh, okay. Do you have a slashing weapon? I feel like you get through those vines with a slashing weapon. Yeah, I mean, I have an axe. Black dwarf's axe. That won't work here. There's nothing to do with it here. Nothing to do with it here. All right. What ho? What ho? <laughs> so what do you want? God, have returned. <laughs> okay, okay. I can't do a dragoon. I can't do a dragoon, Sean. Or I can't do it. Yeah. I have returned. I go back uh, upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I really hope Roberta Williams watches our King's Quest Five playthrough. I really oh, sincerely hope that. Like, I, no. you know, it's oh, such an no. honor. We're so fucking sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> what have we done? I, I our did, internet, our Sean, our digital footprint. Our digital footprint. Show. Oh no, the SEO. No. So, oh, I was so convinced that the bird room was going to be the answer to the bird puzzle. Yeah. I, I'm right there with Cyrano you. Cyrano de bird, Jirak. I don't do... want to do laundry tomorrow. I want to do it the day after tomorrow. Clue. There's no use for that. But I don't know if I have enough Zizzy. shirts for that. Zizzy. That is useless. Zizzy. Right now. I'm in... How many shirts do you really need? Like a lot. Oh my god. I wear the same yeah. shirt every day. <laughs> so you just said two things that don't. I mean I wear the same model of shirt every day. That is a threatening yeah, okay. dwarf. Okay, hold a on. A sharp knife is thrown. <laughs> Fuck. Yes. Dwarf's axe. So lucky. We vanquished a little dwarf. All right. <laughs> we vanquished him! Absolutely. One of the six, I guess. We vanquish for this vanquish. The knife vanishes in a poof. All right. Brass lantern <laughs> in, a in a poof. poof. All right, I'm just going to keep going, man. Because, like, <laughs> the knife vanished in a poof. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> there must be a way to cross this fissure. Damn, if only we were the Fisher King. Dude. You hear the call of a plover. That won't... It's so clever. Zizzy. Zizzy. That okay. is useless right now. Can I just say, like, this experience that we're having in this game is so much why I started playing adventure games. Because it's not like... Because I feel like a lot of modern um, graphic adventure games restrict you to, like, three screens and four interactables, so it is impossible right. for you to not figure it out. But like the fact that we have this like fissure that we can't get across, there's something happening in this room. Suddenly we've heard plue. You know, there's the bed quilt. Huh, I wonder what's there. There's a place called Junction that has one exit. That that doesn't <laughs> seem right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> so I feel like I understand good. what's happening here. I understand the Misty Caverns. What about the Secret Canyon? Oh, yeah, there's this there's this room with the dragon. There's, like, so many potential things to be doing. Um, yes. And I'm not sure where I want to go next. I... 
really want to find the plover, the the plover room, the second plover room. Yeah. Where plovers take us. You'll have to um, forgive me because I haven't been paying attention at all. But why are there two? What's the second plover room? So when you the, say I know the, the current first theory, green. the current theory is yeah. that if you use plover in the green room, it takes you to another room. And if you use plover in that other room, it takes you to the green room. Uh, so if we can we've find, only managed to, well, we don't know where the second room is. Light. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't have a light. <sighs> so are we sure that the lamp is what was holding us back yes. when yes. going through the squeeze? Okay. Yeah, oh. I think I think we need literally no items. So oh, we need a no item. Oh, got it. So let, let, let's be methodical about this. If we, if we... Brass Lantern. It is now pitch dark. You hear the call of a plover. There's no use for that here. Brass The lantern is now lit. Okay, so I'm just going to go from room to room. And I'm just going to... Start blowing. You hear the call of a plover. That is useless right now. That is useless right now. I mean, do we see any, like, images of plovers? Could anymore? this have been the king's throne? Which king? I saw Why? Bird Why would he be room. underground? Where's the bird room? <clears throat> well, we went to it, and it had a big light in the ceiling, and the, the yeah. Oh, yeah. plover call did nothing. Bottom of Misty Pit. Where's Misty Pit? Oh, I knew her. Misty. She was, yeah. Misty Pits. Uh, hell of a dame? I don't know. Hell of a dame. Oh, so here's Misty Pits. So this just goes joint, brings you right back there. Okay. So what's in the altar room? I just don't remember the altar room in the slightest. What? Oh, cash money. Here. Fuck yeah. I hope it's Banking enough to it. um, Whoa, summon the pirate. The what the hell? What Here the we hell? go. It's a place. You got 58 points. <laughs> <I'm> such... <laughs> Gula9 says, I'm late to the stream, but how's everyone doing? Dude. Hey, everybody, <laughs> could you please fill them in all at once? All right, okay, everyone. Yeah, everybody. In 10. How, gonna, how are you doing? We're going to tell Gula9 yeah. how, how we're doing. All right. So 10, 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 5 4, Four, three, 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 two, two, one. one. Do Gula Nine? I'm actually doing so good. Like That's Roberta right. Williams actually legitimately stopped by the stream and was like, "Isn't trying that crazy?" To, trying to tell us what to do, and we went, "Whoa, hey, like back up, Roberta Williams. We're like in the middle of playing a game, right? I appreciate that you're like one of my heroes, <laughs> but like, could you seriously let me play?" And then we tried to set down a Ming Voss, and it broke. And I asked Roberta Williams, "Hey, did you not tell me that because you wanted to see it break?" And she just typed, "Yes." No punctuation, <laughs> just yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. Sorry to put you on the most blast anyone's ever been put on, but... Yeah, actually, know. oh, I need to put chat on the screen, because, like, literally no one who's watching live... It was... What? It was pretty good. You hear the call of a plover. Just as I've been laughing Nothing this entire happened. stream, dude, Jess, I literally, I mean, watching you try to politely say to the Williams, our policy on backseating was like watching someone defusing a bomb. Like, it was just yeah. like, so, like, Carolyn, I just want to understand, make sure you understand that, like, you know, it's, I just want to be clear about how <laughs> our policy about well, I, information, because it is a policy that we have, right? You know, technically breaking any laws. And, <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was hello Amazing. i did have a moment where it was like does everybody know just does everybody just happen to know what the word backseating means because otherwise it's very like what is that you know you're in a because when i log on to the internet as as an adult as an old adult what happens is the kids are like you somebody can't says name... the word funk to me and I don't know. Yeah, what they're that like means. they're like LOL, no maining Genji in standby <laughs> yeah. 
uh, like, and I'm like, what? And they're like, you just fucking did it. And I'm like, what? I did what? It's like, you gained, this you made Genshin again. And I'm like, <laughs> Sorry, my skill cap is just so high. <laughs> I'm absolutely also unskilled. also PS. I need healing. I'm like I, I don't need some healing. Don't worry, I'm just gonna do an end run uh, to the enemy base. I'm just I'm just I'm just bail running right now. Look, can we get my a character can run on walls. for a bail run? Like, <laughs> can I get a blue? Can I get a blue plover for a? a <laughs> Mountain King. I this is this is the Celia Crystal Tunnel. I recognize this place. I feel like we should definitely like. Could somebody please gift Gulenine a subscription <laughs> for what we just put them? Through? You're at the east end of a very long <laughs> hall, apparently without side check. Or, or if they choose a, a subscription to someone else. <laughs> To the east, a low, wide crawl angles up. To the north, a small, round hole slants downward. I don't know. It just sometimes when it's shitty to people, I wish I just had like gift cards to McDonald's that I could just hand them. Yeah, actually, here, get yourself a coffee. <laughs> Western Hall of Miss. They've got good iced coffee, actually. West Bank of Fisher. Oh my God! Wait, what? It's literally the West Bank of the Fisher. Interesting. What? Oh shit! Who? I, I could have killed him. Explode! He had to go. But there's some diamonds. Ship it. This must be where diamonds get polished. <laughs> this must be where, this must be where I guess. diamonds get made. <laughs> I I think we all heard the shade of that guy. Oh, this must be where your diamonds get polished. <laughs> I mean, he is Obi Wan Kenobiing so hard that it's like, it's like Clone Wars era kind of like. This must be where the diamonds are polished. <laughs> it's like very <laughs> cannot scrub that from my mind. And then we're just like, but master, I want to throw the axe at the dwarf. <laughs> All right. My Grubhub order has arrived. I'll be oh. right back. Oh, you're literally yes. your, your Grubhub order arrived. No, got copy. Yeah. All right, Sean, I'm just gonna go in here. All right, let's go Dude, in there. We are still finding just new locations, just like yeah. No, we're just we're pure exploring. What? Now we're in the Mesa Lake. What the fuck? What is a Mesa Lake? All right, well I guess I'll go south in the Mesa Lake. This is the part of Colossal Cave Adventure where they ripped off Maze. Now this is so there there's it says there's a north here, but I don't see it on the map. Where did that take you? Okay. All right, so I'm going to go south. The Elden Ring was a colossal cave-like. Yeah. A colossal cave-like with light RPG elements. Oh, I see. So it's actually... It's it's not... Okay, so it is. this is a true maze area. So we are actually just mapping the connection among these things. Yeah. Yeah. So, for instance, if I go north here, there's actually nothing here to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna see what's here. Ow. Huh. Dude, can you imagine just like? drawing this shit out. There's no other way to do it. No, it's wild. It's super wild. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna go east. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go the only way that I can go. <laughs> Some name is Rex. Rex is. Sean was happy when Roberta Williams was here, but now there's a maze. And I'm fine. I'm fine. I like mazes. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord what's going on how's grubhub here? oh this is going to link back to it's the good very then we're going to go here yep and this should link us all the way back to wait no what the fuck uh all right thank god there's a map here all right time to go south what is the dotted line jesus i think it's just, it's that just means like... you can cut it with scissors yeah um, I'm gonna eat some. Uh... What do you hey eat tonight? You know what I like. Wait, was that there was you know there what I like the is there? some Panda. I like some Panda Express because it's always fresh and it's always it's always uh... on the right. What I like there. to say is Panda Express is where. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, Fortune <laughs> runs wild. I don't know. Panda, Panda Express is where say... Fortune runs wild. That's their new <laughs> I was slogan. gonna say. I was gonna say some <laughs> sort of like like. I was going to be funny because I was going to be reading the copy on like the the thing, but there was no copy on the thing. Yeah, there's I just the, ended up I saying something that comes off as vaguely racist, and I, I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I, you can't. You can't. Like sometimes when you're trying for satire, you like okay any work of satire, be it a joke, whatever. You have to vault over the 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 valley of just doing more of the same shit you know stereotype, like right like satire is built on stereotype yeah but it's also like it's also like oh someone like in film school somebody wanted to make like the hell is that brink of pit that is brink of pit no, no th th this is overlooking <laughs> okay why is there another fucking bird it's the same chamber oh Bird chamber. Oh, I remember Bird Chamber. Yeah, he was cool. Um, didn't he? Wasn't he a track? Uh, he did track in uh, West um, uh, uh, West Montana. Are you gonna jump off of this ledge? Where did I come from? I swear to God, I, I don't care if either of you gives me anything for it. I'm gonna keep making this character lore. Okay. Like bird chamber, and there was somebody else too. There was like Sandy Bottoms or something, right? I mean, there's gusty there's winds. There in room. There. <laughs> gusty. Look, all I want, and we've had some, but nowhere near enough for the for the for the amount of time we've been on the air, not near enough fan art. And so I've decided mm. to start creating characters. Um. Uh, so like yeah like uh, you know if you bird chamber the uh, track star who um, you hear the call of a plover I, I don't know has There's stark no white hair go, go fans go go make fan art go fans me in it. is, is go fans. um uh, but not on twitter because apparently I don't check twitter anymore what is yeah, that what's when happening about, of twisty ironically when you think about the name all alike. actually Sean Ooh, uh, it's not called Twitter anymore. It's called Bird Chamber. Yeah. <laughs> that mouse wants to eat that glowy. Okay, so there's a treasure chest and a giant emerald. No, this is this <laughs> a metal wait, vessel. Wait, I think Leo's confused wait, wait, the wait, fans the, with Pokemon. The, Sorry, here. you'll need to drop something before you can carry <laughs> anything more. We, it's our treasure. You know, it's our treasure. It's our treasure. Empty it's our treasure. Not the oh. not the treasure. This the, uh... has the distinct feel of a ship's hold. Okay. Treasure chest. Beyond everything. Treasure chest. Can you oh. use it? Use the treasure chest? Egg-sized emerald. Egg treasure chest. Oh my god, we, we, we have the treasure chest. You found the pirate's shit. Okay. Oh, cool. The pirate's shit? So, I'm... when the pirate appears again... Is he gonna take our stuff and then be like, "What happened to my treasure chest? I have yeah, no place exactly. to put this." It's the switcheroo. It's the switcheramo. So you, you gotta pirate the pirate. There's a threatening pirate, dwarf. Right? Okay, hold on. Sharp don't, knife don't is thrown. That, Dwarf's that sharp axe. knife keeps getting thrown. You've attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged <clears> out of the way. I'm maining Chow right now. 
So I think that this is going to just loop back. Yeah. So we can now go this way around through the maze alike over to where Dusty Bird and Gusty Winds live. Sean, yeah. Can you can you page through a couple pages of the map for me? Yeah, yeah, which way you want to go? To to the right, I think. Okay, again. And again. All right, that that chamber up at the top there kind of looks like a bird. Actually, that's <laughs> that is some <laughs> ribbon thinking, my friend. <laughs> I'm just so, saying. I'm like, wait a minute! Oh my god! Right? Hold on, you're like, not wrong. You're not wrong, Sean. This is the bird. This is the bird. Okay. So okay. there's the maze alike. Dude, there's there's several things up here. <clears throat> so let me. So if I'm in this maze. Clue. Clue. That won't work. Zizzy. Zizzy. There's nothing to do with it here. I'm riding the mute button on this uh on this food. I hope I'm hope I'm getting it accurate. So we're gonna go east north, huh? The viewers do not need to hear the, uh, what do you call it, broccoli. Dude, viewers love yeah, hearing the, broccoli. Only if you're in one of the dedicated broccoli Twitch channels, right? Like, if you're yeah. in that category yeah, where it's, yeah, like, the, the bro it's like broccoli is, beef. Yeah, just broccoli. broccoli yeah. Um, should we sometime do a special show in the, uh, the like, hot tubs, uh, liquid lakes, and... Um, it's what is it called? It's like what? it's like what? hot tubs, pools, and then pools on top of and beaches yachts that are in the beaches ocean. Beaches is the other one. Beaches, pools, hot tubs, and bodies of water. I think is the category on Twitch. It is so creepy. Like, I finally start. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna finally figure out what this whole Twitch thing is, and I decided to just watch something on Twitch, and it's just like, here we think you might like this, and I'm like, I don't know what that is. But it looks like um, a vice from Blade Runner, and I, I, I don't know. Like I don't understand. There is a threatening dwarf. Hold on, a don't sharp come. knife is thrown. Goddamn threatening dwarf! It dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a, a little dwarf. Oh hell yeah! There is a little axe here. All right. So anyway, I. Uh... No, but it literally was like, do you want to watch Amaranth? And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's actually I mean, sure. so funny. Like, the, it's, the, uh, yeah. Like, just generally speaking, the way that algorithms are working on all my stuff lately, like, um, Reddit is just posts of people saying, Am I the asshole? And then it's a story of them clearly being an asshole. Um, uh -huh. celebrity news. <laughs> And content that is five years old and is being reposted. Like, I don't know what's happened there. Okay. Uh, YouTube, um, if I watch one video that is in a category that's not my norm. So, for instance, I uh, largely watch, like, Age of Empires, StarCraft, video game, Magic the Gathering content, stuff like that. But I watch, like, one video of a stretch to, like, you know, because having, like, a little tight shoulder uh -huh, thing uh -huh. and it's just all <laughs> like hot model gets best stretch ever and it's just like a guy who's like bending a woman and i'm just it's like the, what? It's the, yeah like what happened like i just i literally i i, I kind of threw my arm out because cc like tugged my shoulder i'm just not i don't want to see that and like there's no game content there at all it's so bizarre <laughs> It's all, whatever you watch, then all that you'll see after that is suggestions for the most just riding the line of the terms of service of whatever that was. Yeah. So if you look up like um, you know, how to how to use a miter saw, then all you're gonna get is like miter saw ASMR like top like sharp bird's eye view camera down the cleavage. It's just gonna be it's gonna it's be someone so, sitting yeah. it's it's gonna be someone sitting on a table 
next to a miter saw in very revealing outfit, just like saying like, yeah, yeah, I go to the grocery store sometimes. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks, dog child. Yeah, no, you're the best. Anyway, love you guys. Sure, I'm gonna be on for another ten hours. Oh, thanks, thanks for the whatever. And you're like, <laughs> what the hell? What like? I, what, what I, you, I, I mean, you know? I sympathize Lee with your adventures with Twitch. I'm not brave enough for that. I, I, I do. I feel pretty good about my Reddit. Because it's just pick, it's just videos of people doing bullshit in Elden Ring, videos of people America. doing bullshit in Tears of the Kingdom, and then the the subreddit Tight Pussy, which is the best subreddit. Wait, excuse me. Oh yeah, no, it's really good. Actually, Tight Wait. Pussy and um, uh, Wait. and people fucking okay. dying. Those are my two favorite yeah, subreddits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead and look those up. <sighs> Uh, and make sure They're you have good. a safe search off. I'm gonna yeah, go see yeah. what these other things are. Nan is not gonna like it, but I mean, okay. Way back when we were in school together, a, a, you know, 27 years ago, um, I I had safe surf safe search off because I was in like a mode of like you know information wants to be free. I want to live unfiltered on this internet, like you know. I want to be privy to to everything in the world, right? And then somebody was like, have you seen this fuck vegetables <laughs> meme? <laughs> and I was like, no, I haven't. So then like, in class, I just like search fuck vegetables. And then like, it's just, the, <laughs> just all the, you know, depths of depravity just uh, erupted out of my screen. And literally Elizabeth was like, you got to turn your safe search on. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that somebody that's the worst that's the worst name for a meme because it's it's just it's just meme sounding enough that you could be tricked into being it <laughs> at your school class like you know oh yeah oh dude yeah and then you're just like this this media is too interactive if anything <laughs> <laughs> so wait, it's just it's an upside down oh give me a break. What happens if I do this? <laughs> it's just it says this whole just went off, off the rails. rails. And it, yet you know, just... it has been the most <laughs> amount of walking that we have ever done on one of these shows. It's true. And like we it this is a rare case of a game in which we have not yet completed. <laughs> Just yeah. the the depths of the basic exploration. Like, how do you get from A to B? This is a stream where Icarus flew too close to the sun. His wings fell off. He fucking Tears of the Kingdom skydived, caught them in midair, reassembled them, put them back on, and then was like, I'm going to try doing that again. And then Panda Express arrived. <laughs> 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 All right, so this is a dead end. And so, hey... Hey, we figured out the maze, but we haven't gone north. But if we get into the main room, east, south, 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 north. That's not that hard. Because you come in here, you go, oh, wait, no, this, you, yeah, you go east, and then you go south, south, south north and then you just get the pirate stuff so then if you go west and then you go east east okay cool got it got it easy done done oh my alarm went off i need to water the basil oh shit that's it that's the end of the show <laughs> oh god i just got a notification <laughs> Like, you need to stop every hour. You need to stop streaming. All right, hold on. I, I, I'm <laughs> going to get the change of the hour. Here. The, uh, yeah. Can you climb out of this show? <laughs> Can you climb us yeah. out of this episode? Is <laughs> fucking somehow. I need oh, to water God, my basil. Like... Sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> I just. <laughs> oh, I can do a I can do a, a, a McElroy squad quick Mac squad. <laughs> Which is a, uh, it's a Twitch show within a Twitch show where I talk about, where I describe a joke that the McElroy's have said. 
wait, wait, where, where am I? How do I get out of here? <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Because, 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 what because they were talking, they were talking on their show. They were talking on their show, and then, and then Justin was like, "Yeah, I mean, it's Sydney's garden out there. She doesn't even let me water it." And then Travis said, "Gross." <laughs> and then, and then Justin said, "This is an advice show, uh, except Travis wrecked it. Travis ruined it." <laughs> I thought that was really funny. I thought that like if you were listening to that show, you'd laugh probably and laugh yeah. and laugh. Am I, am I trapped in this are episode? You stuck? Yeah, are you, you, stuck you died. The... You actually wait. Like the, look, you're, you're do, actually do the um, look action. Do the look action. You're doing a Jacob's ladder right now. None of you're this, in a maze uh, of twisty of little passages, anything. all alike. It's the fucking maze of twisty little passages, all alike. Fuck me. What? This is you an know, infamous is... part of. Colossal and, cave and adventure. It's, it's um it's in uh it's in the game that we done made. Um Return to Monkey Island has uh, twisty passages it has all twisty like. passages all like yeah, yeah. And you can say Zizzy. <laughs> wait, 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 you can? Zizzy. Well in Zizzy. In, in Monkey There's Island no use for that here. Plu. In Return Plu. to Monkey Island you can that say Zizzy you... in the twisty passages. You hear the call of a plover. Which we're discovering is uh, historically inaccurate. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's more of a pastiche. Oh. That's like saying that a medley is inaccurate because it doesn't fade out over the fucking uh, uh, I am the Eggman re reprise. My friends. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We're stuck in a maze. And we will return next Fuck week yeah. stuck in a maze. That's what we're Wait, being. we were stuck in the twisty passages and... The other game too, weren't we? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were stuck as hell, man. <laughs> hey, no, that's that's how we know that your uh, your adventure game Lee was historically accurate. So yeah, yeah. There you go. yes, it's uh, this is the game. This, this uh, you're not wrong. This is the game. Well, uh, you know, it's kind of funny because whenever I'm like in, I'm on a broadcast mode. I'm just focused on yeah. being in a broadcast, and that's it. That's like all I'm doing. Sure. Uh, yeah. And it is now beginning to set in that Roberta Williams and Ken Williams stopped by. Yeah, 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 yeah. I try not to let things yeah, like that yeah, set yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I try not to think about it. Uh, Dude. Yeah. No, it's, it's, that's fucking wild. I just, I just treat everybody treat everybody like they're just the same person. Wait, no, that's not. That's nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. That's like, nothing. Like, Sorry. You, you, you want to talk with someone, right? You don't want to talk like up yeah. to them or down to them. You want to talk with them. Um, well, it depends on what they're doing. Yeah, like if they're... if. if they're like if they're standing on a podium, to, you have to talk to, up to them. Yeah, they're all exactly. like, <laughs> for some fucking there, reason. Yeah. Is, that, is that a safety thing? <laughs> are they like, you know, are they like, well, we're measuring out pills, so there has to be a two foot, like, balustrade or whatever. Anyway, yeah, go on. I, I, no, yeah, no, like, but I, but I know what you mean. But still, that was fucking sick. Yeah, that was. That was that wild. Was it was good. amazing. Um. Friendos, next week, same bad time, same bad place. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently just text me before we go live and I'll show up. <laughs> Jesus, I, don't know, I cut it close today. Uh, bye, bye. Hey, everyone, bye. see you next week. Bye, it was fun. Bye, bye. <laughs>